for our slabos. Today we're going to tie the Frenchie. Frenchie is the European version of uh, what we would consider a hot spot pheasant tail. Uh, it's an excellent all-around nymphing pattern. Uh, it's uh, got a great trigger point. It does very well pretty much anywhere I've ever fished it. And uh, let's go over how we tie it. I start off with a size 14 Orvis Tactical dry fly hook and we're going to use 70 denier uh, fluorescent orange ultra thread. Same thread uh, a lot of us use for the uh, glow bugs and, uh, and, uh, and egg patterns. It's very strong thread but uh, it gives out the hot spot properties that we're looking for in this pattern. We're also going to tie in 0 0.015 I use uh, lead substitute wire I'm going to start at the point of the hook and wrap forward to the bead. We have a gold tungsten bead I prefer gold over copper for this for this pattern um, traditionally I guess it would be a copper bead but uh, I seem to do better with with gold and I do use tungsten, I want the extra weight. We're going to seat that wire up against the bead nice and tight and then we're going to start our thread. Start behind our wire to secure it, wrap forward and then bring your thread back to just the point where you just begin to enter that bend. You can point down a little bit with the tail, but that's fine. You just don't want to go into the bend too far and make it uh, turn into a scud appearance. The next material you're going to tie in is Coq de Leon. I have medium pardo, and I'm going to take a sizable chunk of this, uh, much more than I would for a normal dry fly pattern. and we're going to tie it in about shank length. Remember uh, it's going to look a little bit shorter because your shank on this hook is a 3x short. So you don't want to go too long. And we're going to tie that in right at the transition of the lead and wrap back. I said I tie a shorter tail for this fly, but it's a stiffer, uh, thicker tail than usual. From your butts. Next material you're going to tie in is fine gold wire. And again, you're going to tie that in on the side of the hook just behind the lead and we'll stow that then we're going to tie in our body which is pheasant tail I use natural pheasant tail no dyeing you can use any color you want I just prefer the uh, the natural And we're going to bring them together. I clip about the first quarter inch off of the uh, tips. And then we're going to tie again. Tie that in with the, the tips even with the transition of the lead. And bring it back again. And at this point we're going to bring our thread up. I make up the rest of that transition as I go over it and then bring your thread up to the bead. Next we're going to wrap our pheasant tail. 
bring it forward in an even taper you have to build it up it'll taper itself really you've already provided the taper and the material gets thicker as you go towards the base so you're going to get a natural taper and we're going to bring that all the way up to the bead and tie it off this actually was the first pattern that I began tying using these tactical hooks uh, the Frenchie's always been a very positive add to my box throughout Pennsylvania but I went I tried these hooks these tactical hooks with this pattern and they have stuck they've since then become a, a solid performer for a number of nibs and you're gonna take your wire and wrap forward I counter wrap in the opposite direction reinforce that pheasant tail which can be a little fragile And at this point, you're going to apply your hot spot. For this pattern, my favorite hot spot is the Ice Dub in UV Shrimp. It's, shrimp, it's UV Pink Shrimp or Shrimp Pink. I think it's more of an orange, personally. But uh, this is the color that seems to do the best for me. And I put a, I dub about an inch. Maybe a little more than an inch, but only about an inch of dubbing. You don't need a lot. And you're going to build your thorax. Bring it up tight behind the bead. And then give a few wraps to acquire that orange, that fluorescent orange color as well. Not too much because you're going to whip finish there. And then you're going to give a, I like to give a three turn whip finish on this pattern and with this thread it's a slick thread, it's very strong but a slick thread I give an extra three turn whip finish because I'm going to bring that color up onto the bead slightly and tighten the bead in the back anyway and then clip off your excess and trim a little bit of that UV that I trapped but you really don't have to and there it is, the Frenchie. Time proven pattern, uh, very effective pretty much anywhere you fish it, anywhere across the country. Uh, obviously, through Europe, it is a very popular pattern in Europe. But you can vary the color of the hotspot. This is my pretty much the only hotspot variation that I use for this area, and it does very well. Hope it adds to your box. Good luck. See you in the water.